Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Johnson again. Happy Thursday. Today, we're going to talk about measurement and comparing sizes. So again, I came to starfall.com on my computer. And remember, you can play on this and see all these great bright features that I see on here and be able to play all the games if you just have mom or dad contact your classroom teacher and they can give you the username and password to get in so that you can play anything on here. <clears throat> so I'm in the pre-K kindergarten section. I'm going to come over to geometry and measurement and there's lots of good math games that boys and girls you are probably familiar with from seeing at school. And I'm going to come up here to measurement. And it says, let's measure. Now, when we measure, we're going to see how long or how tall something is. So since we've been talking about construction, let's start with tools. Ooh, we are going to measure using coins. Does anyone know what coin this is down here? That's the nickel, the one that's worth five cents. Remember, we can measure with anything as long as our tools, since that's what we're measuring, are lined up, and they are. They're all starting on that same bar at the bottom. That's really important so that we can see which one is the tallest and shortest and how many coins long or tall that they are. Okay, let's start with this very first screwdriver with the red handle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch the nickel, and I'm going to bring it over here. One. And it will help us count. So we have one, two, three, yeah. four. How many do you think? Five, six. Five. Ooh, what's one more than five? That's what we need. Six. Okay, so we made it. So the red screwdriver is six nickels tall. Okay, let's do the yellow chisel. Same thing. Let's see how many coins we need. One, two, three. So we made a coin tower that is equal in size to the yellow chisel. It takes three coins to be as tall as the yellow chisel. All right, last one. Let's do some pliers. One, two, Let me put one up here. No. Nope. Right, we want to put on the largest tool. Oh, the largest tool. Now, if these were on the ground pointing straight up to the air, we would say tallest. So, which one is the tallest? Which one has the highest tower of coins? Right, the screwdriver, because six is the largest number. So, we know that is the largest tool. I'm going to click on it. The largest. <laughs> awesome. Now, which tool is the shortest? They're not going to ask us, but I think we can figure that out. Which one has the shortest tower or the smallest number of coins? Yes. The yellow chisel number three is the shortest. Good job. Let's do one more together. How about, well, we did transportation, so why don't we do trains? Ooh, we're going to be measuring with a different coin. This time we're going to measure with dimes. A dime is worth 10 cents. Okay, let's look at this first green train. How many coins do you think we're going to need? Take a guess. Okay, let's find out. You ready? One. One. Two, three. three. All right. Now this next red train looks longer. How many coins do you think we're going to need for this one? A number bigger than three. Maybe four? Maybe six or seven? Let's see. One, two, three, four. Oh, I think we only need one more. Five. Good 
Good job. Which one is longer so far? The green train or the red train? Yeah, the red one is longer and the green one is shorter. Okay, last one, let's do the blue one. Now, so far we've had three and then five. We still need something bigger for the blue one. How many dimes do you think it's gonna take? Okay, let's find out. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, this one, that's Click six. on the shortest train. Okay, we've been talking about it as we've been going. Which train is the shortest? It's the little one, the small number. I hope you pick this one. The shortest. <laughs> Good job, boys and girls. We're going to stop there for today, but if you want to play this game more at home, it's starfall.com. And remember, if you need the username and password so that you can see all of the games and activities, just have mom or dad get in touch with your teacher. Good job. Have a great day.